Welcome story time friends. It's story time. Oh, and look at our wonderful story we have today. Do you know who this is? What's his name? Oh, yes, this is Elmer. He is a patchwork elephant. And the story is called Alma and the Rainbow. It's written by David Mackey. Should we see what Alma gets up to in our story today? Have you read some other Alma stories before? He gets up to lots of wonderful adventures, doesn't he? Yeah. All right, story time friends. Let's get into our story. Alma and the Rainbow. Alma, the patchwork elephant, was in a cave. Ooh, ooh, what does it look like? What kind of weather is it outside? He was sheltering from a storm. That's right, look, it's raining and there's lightning. <laughs> With him were the other elephants and some birds. Thunder and lightning is exciting, said Alma. And after the storm, we might see a rainbow. Have you seen a rainbow before, Storytime friends? You have? Oh, isn't it the most beautiful thing ever to see it shining across the sky? When the storm had stopped, Alma and the birds went outside. Alma felt drops on his head. Blip, 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 blip. Oh, it's still raining. Perhaps it's a rainbow crying, said the bird. It's come out too soon and lost its colours. Look. Look at that. There's no colours on the rainbow. In the sky was a pale shape. A rainbow without colours? said Alma. That's awful. We must do something. I'll give it my colours. Oh, what a nice little elephant. He's going to share his colours with the rainbow. To do that, you'll have to find where it touches the ground, said the bird. Nobody knows where that is. Well, what are we waiting for, said Alma. Let's start searching and we'll go that way. And I'll go this. Hmm. So the birds are going to go this direction and Alma is going to go that direction to see if they can find the end of the rainbow. Hi, what are you looking for, Elma? said the lion. <gasps> the end of the rainbow, said Elma. Have you seen it? Which end? asked the lion. Well, either end, said Elma. The rainbow has lost its colours. I can give it mine, if we can find the end. A rainbow without colours? Ha! That is serious said the tiger. Come on, lion, we better search. You too, rabbits. We'll roar when we find it, said the lion. So the rabbits and the lion and the tiger are all going to help Elmer. A little later, Elmer met giraffe. Look, giraffe, he's got a long neck. There he is. Alma, she said, there's something strange in the sky. Yes, that's the rainbow, said Alma. And he told her all about it losing its colours. Can you see where it touches the ground? The giraffe stretched up high. No, I can't, she said. What will happen to you? Alma, if you give it your colours, said she asked. But Alma was already on his way to get the elephants. Hmm. 
do you think would happen to Alma if he gave the rainbow all his colours? I wonder. The elephants were still in the cave. We're not coming out with that thing in the sky, they said. But when Alma had explained the problem, the elephants were keen to help. What about Alma if he gives his colours away? Oh, asked the elephant. I suppose he'd be like us then, said a friend. Better that than a colourless rainbow. Ah, oh, so you think if Alma gives the rainbow his colours, he'll look like one of the other elephants? Maybe. Alma was with the monkeys when the birds returned. No luck so far, they said. We'll keep looking. Nobody can find the end of the rainbow, said the monkeys. But it will be fun to try. By the time Alma arrived at the river, everyone was looking for the rainbow. Hello, fish, he called. I don't suppose you know where the rainbow starts, do you? Usually at the waterfall, said the fish. But today, there's some pale thing there. Oh, that's the rainbow, said Alma. Come on, come on, let's go to the waterfall. Sure enough. The colourless rainbow was coming from the waterfall. Oh, the search was over! Yay! Alma and the fish and the crocodiles called loudly to the other animals. Then, without waiting, Alma went behind the waterfall. Oh, Story time, friends. What do you think will happen? By the time the other animals arrived, Alma was out of sight. Colours gradually began to appear on the rainbow. Hooray! shouted and cheered the animals. But what about Alma? Oh, whispered the elephants. Where's Alma? Look, everybody's cheering for the colourful rainbow. As if in answer, Alma appeared from behind the waterfall. And guess what? He still had his colours. The animals cheered again. Yay! But, 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 Alma, said the elephant, you gave your colours to the rainbow. How can you still have them? Alma chuckled. What do you think happened, Storytime friends? Some things you can give and give and not lose any. Things like happiness or love or my colours, said Alma. Oh, isn't that lovely? So some things you can just give and give and give and you don't lose them. Later on the way home, Tiger said, I wonder if the rainbow would be patchwork. Mm -hmm. He wondered if the rainbow would have been patchwork. Alma grinned. Don't even think about it, said Lion. We have enough trouble with patchwork elephant. This time, Alma laughed out loud. <laughs> What a lovely story. I hope you enjoyed it, Storytime friends. Do you think Alma did a good thing helping get the rainbow's colours back? You do. Well, I hope you join me for another story very soon. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.